This is Jonathan Kane, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a three color 3D print in Simplify 3D 4.0 with a single extruder. Today I'm going to be using this 3D model, it's known as Enzo, which is a team mascot for my FRC team. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so right here I have a model, the 3D model I've designed in SolidWorks. As you can see, um, it's designed in this tier, tiered fashion and what I've also done to make it a little bit easier to print is I've made it so these thickness right here is the same. This is the boss extrudes. This, this one, this one, this one. Um, each of those will be in a different color so this section here will be in green because that's the color of the ghost. This will be in white and this will be in black. And what that creates is that gives me a chance for me to change the filament. Now normally your issue is that you have to pause um, during that. If you don't have a printer that allow that moves its nozzle away, then when you resume print, if that nozzle is not perfectly aligned, then you get a problem. So with Simplify 3D, you can do this by basically uh, setting it as a different process. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Alright, so the next thing, I'm in Simplify 3D 4.0, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import this the file. If I go down, um, the, let's see here. I have scaled it so that it, whenever I import it, which it looks like that, you look here, it is 6 millimeters thick. So that means that each of these three sections is 2 millimeters high. So what first thing I'm going to do is, since it's a new process, I'm going to go ahead and add one. I'm using my Anet A8. You can use whichever one you feel like using. Um, any basic one like that will work. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Tools and go into the Variable Settings Wizard, which is new. So I want to do a split at 2 millimeters. So I'm going to add a location. One at 4 millimeters. And add a location. And that's basically it. So I've got, I'm putting a split between it should create three processes. So if I look at it, see there's a little plane between each of them that I'll use for each of the colors. So then what I do is I press split process and I've got three of them. So looking at it, if I open up process 1-3 and go into advanced, you can see it's going to start printing at height 4 millimeters. So this one here is the very top one. So if I go into the first one, it should be from 0 to 2 millimeters. And indeed it is. So I'm going to rename this one um, green. So I'm going to name that process one green. Name this one here white. And this one will be called black. Like that. So basically I've got these two processes. Um, I know with mine that I have a, the white filament that I use is a little bit different on temperature. Um, and for some reason if I use it at 200 degrees Celsius it ends up acting weird. So 205 degrees is what I set it to just to make it a little bit easier. Also what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to go into layer and I'm going to set it so that can change the number of top and bottom solid layers so with this I'm gonna change it to have zero bottom solid layers because it doesn't need it and tops solid layers I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave alone and the rest of it I'll, I'll, I'll leave it the same so I've got all that set up and I, I like the way it is you can see that whenever I click the uh, select processes, I've got three different processes here. So the trick to this and is you print these one at a time. So first thing I'll do is I'll print the uh, green process, which looks like this. You can see. And then what I'll do is when I'm done with that, I'll go back, prepare to print, I'll select the white. 
select none and I do that just to make sure I select the correct one. You can see that what it's doing is it's only going to print that one. So what's happening is assuming that your piece of glass, if your plate doesn't move, what will happen is it'll home and do this and then go straight to the next process. Also I found that it's doing this little um, brim around it. I'm going to want to disable that so I'm going to go into white and fix that too. So normally I, I don't think I remember it doing that but I'm going to disable use skirt brim on that one. I'm also going to change it in black just to make sure it doesn't do it on that one either. Because I don't want to do that. So now I've got it set up so like I said create a print black and now it's only going to do that one. And so that's how you basically do that. Um, I'm not the one who came up with this idea. Um, I'm just showing how you do it on Simplify 3D 4.0. Actually, this was inspired by uh, a guy named Joel Telling, also known as the 3D Printing Nerd. He uh, did this, and it's a very ingenious way to do more than one color on a printer. Okay, so I also forgot to mention one last thing, which is that we look at the process. Um, forgot to mention that this is something you probably want to do. Um, with these, um, you might want to, this is for me personally, but um, I get rid of the um, turn off extruder, stuff like that, um, and or turn off the, where I put it? So how to turn off the, uh, you know, where it turns off the extruder in bed. Um, I disable that for my first, for the process leading up to that, simply because of the fact that I, I print straight up on glass, so basically the part might detach, so I leave the bed on. You can disable the um, hot end if you want, but or leave the hot end, let the, actually, yeah, let, let the hot end be disabled if you want, but um, you want to try to keep your bed heated in case this part, you know, warps or will detach from the bed. It's completely optional, but it's a good idea to do that beforehand, so um, I went ahead and changed that before I went ahead and sent it to the printer. So now let's get on to that time lapse. Here we go. 